guys, uh, it's Donnie Bullock again um, with another um, solar electric pickup truck update uh, that I'm calling the Mega Truck. And today um, was kind of a uh, successful failure, I would call it. Um, let me show you what I, what happened. <clears throat> so what happened was um, last or this, I guess last night when I did the video, I left this switch when it needed to be in the morning position, um, left it in the evening. And when I noticed that, um, I only had 0.3 watts on the truck power. Um, but then this one had like 1.3, and usually these are pretty even. Um, so if you add the two together, um, you're looking at about 0.8 on each side. Um, so the, uh, um, the truck power would probably be at least double what it had, be point, um, so it'd be 0.8 kilowatts. Um, so I've kind of updated this because of it. Um, it's going to be, it depends on what you're comparing it to, but this can be like 30 to a hundred percent boost in power output than what you would have just being a, a stationary panel like the like a uh, um, west facing panel or here um, so if you're new to the channel just a refresher in the morning I'm, I'm switching between three sets of panels this set um, in the morning I'll go to this one afternoon to this one and um, evening to that one that's all based on where the Sun's at and I think most people can do that in their um, daily commuting and everything. Like, it's very easy for me to do this in the morning, to be in that position at lunch, when I'm on my lunch break. Switch to there, evening when I get home, switch to there to get the most power output of out of the panels as possible. And if you can do that, I mean, it obviously lowers the price of what it would cost to install something like that. And what I kind of got figured, um, what something like this would cost, because you're going DC to DC, um, there's solar is DC power to your battery's DC, you could do like a direct charging. <coughs> Excuse me. And you wouldn't need this inverter, so you just go straight to it. You can set up your all your little cells to do that. Um, to match the voltage of your your battery so you could just direct charge it um, and also you're not you don't have all of the electrical all the runs of wire um, and run the wire in your house paying to somebody to install it they're just not all that call all that much cost uh, I believe this could be something that's just a plug-and-play thing so you plug it in and you're on your way but anyway so not very good because I I uh, didn't do the switching um, so we got 20 20 miles but I easily could have got that if I would have had it done in the correct position for morning um, so I think it's actually a really good positive number and good to know that it can be at least over a hundred percent boost by doing this um, system rather than just being stationary. So I will talk to you later.